Hey guys, it's Misty with My Paper Cuts. And tonight I'm coming on to do a semi-quick share of a stack of cards that I made. And to make these cards, I started out, I wanted to play with these Magical Shaker from Lindy's. This is one I picked up at my local scrapbook store. It is called Cuckoo Clock Cardinal. And these are those, they're like a pigment watercolory type powder that you shake and then when you spritz with water they just make all this magical color, hence the name. Um, I took one large sheet of watercolor paper and I just used this and I used, sorry about that guys, and I used a little bit of this gold spritz and I used these um, Gonzai Tombi watercolors. Let me, See if I can get those out of the package here real quick for you guys to see. I love these for doing a gold splatter when I can use my chubby fingers to get them out of the package. Um, I love this because you have this, this white gold here, but you have all these different shades of gold. Obviously, this one is my favorite. I seem to use it the most. But these are very heavily pigmented and shimmery, so I like to use them for splatter. And I just took the magicals and I made like I said this huge background piece of paper to work with and my plan was to just die cut images and such out of that so here are some of the scraps from that piece of paper I just thought you guys might like to see kind of the overall effect I did die cut some hearts and stuff out of the scraps but you can see like it goes anywhere from bright red to pink and then you can see where I added the shimmer spray and the splatter with the with those Gonzai Tombi watercolors. So these are my scraps and some of the little hearts. And I, oh yeah, I did. I cut out some little lips. Um, but so that is what I created was just one giant background with that. And then I used this paper here. Actually, that wasn't very well planned. But <laughs> um, I only used two of the patterns in here. I used this stripe here. It had a big print at the bottom, but it had this gold foiling on it. And then there was also, and I think I used them both, there was also just a plain black and white striped background. Um, and that's what I used because I thought that would offset the red nicely. So that is the paper that I used. And I, can't, I ended up with 18 cards total. So the first cards that I will share here, I did... What I did was I die cut out a bunch of hearts and then I used word dies to cut out the hearts and I also cut them out in black so that I could use the positive and the negative piece. And so this way I'm getting doubles out of everything and like, you, like I said I had a huge sheet of just one sheet of the paper that I did this background on and I ended up with just this little pile of scraps over here left over. Um, anything that was big enough for me to die cut anything out of, I kept. So this is the first card I made. And I this hugs is from this set from MFT. And it's that smaller one there. I also used this one here. And this one is called Twice the Hugs. So I used that die. And like I said, I die cut the hearts and then the words. And I popped them up on foam so that there's some dimension behind them. And then I used this sentiment here, which is, You are my best friend for always. Which came out of, um, let me see here. I have so many stamp sets out. Came from this Simon Says stamp set. It's this, You are my best friend for always. And then I also did... I miss you and I also did somewhere I did a sideways hugs just to change it so this I miss you actually came from this old seeing stars set which is also from Simon Says Stamp it's right there and for the I oh and then for this frame piece here for these ones, um, I just used the plain black and white striped paper. So since it didn't have gold accents, I added gold. And I did that one with this die set here, which is called Chains. And it's an old paper smooches die set. I love this set. I used this large frame and I also used this little piece here, which I'll show you in just a moment. 
Um, but so if it didn't have gold accents, I did a frame in gold. And then on the other pieces that had the gold accents, I did a red frame just to tie everything in. And then I did the opposite. So if I had a gold frame, I mounted my sentiment on red. And if I did a red frame, I mounted it on gold. So that is the two black ones. And you can see all of the difference in colors and textures I got. And then those negatives were cut from these pieces here. I apologize for my noisy neighbor's truck. And that is the first four cards. Um, for the one that says you are my best friend for always, I thought that that would be just a good general use card. So I just left that one blank and stamped a couple of hearts on the inside. And then for the I miss you card, I used a sentiment from this Simon Says kit that said, I'll show you it inside the card, actually be easier to read. It says, I miss your face, I miss your laugh, I miss your hugs, I just miss you. And I love that sentiment. And then this is that little piece that I showed you guys here, this little chain piece. And I had originally cut that out just to add a little bit of shine on the inside, but I love the way it turned out so much that I think I'm gonna do it again, because it literally looks like a piece of just like chain or, or jewelry. I don't know, it's just really cool, the effect that it has. So I'll definitely be doing that again. And then on the front here, I also did some Nouveau drops in just glossy black. So that was the first four cards. And then I used the other hugs die. And I really liked this one more because it took up more of the heart. So this one, I think I did six of, yes. So here's the six there. And you can see on these ones, I used the gold accented paper. So I did the red frame. And that frame is right here. And it is from MFT, but it's like a stitch scalloped frame set. I love this set. And then just the same technique. And again, you are my best friend for always and the I miss you. Um, I just thought the hugs granted itself to friend cards. See, this one really shows the variation in the color. But it's all the same as those other hugs one. And then I decided for the other cards, I might get a little more mushy gushy. <laughs> so I pulled out this um, little yellow bicycle set that had love you. And I made a whole bunch more. So again with the heart and I just die cut it out and then use the negatives to fill it in. And so I have the, you have my heart. And then I also have ones that say you are my soulmate. Um, just kind of flip through those there so you can see I, mean, I just flip flopped them around and switched them up and the one that says you are my soulmate that sentiment again is from that floral kit here from Simon Says it's right there and the you have my heart is from this um I think it's called Bitty Bears yeah this Bitty Bears set that is from MFT it's right there so um on the you are my soulmate on the inside it says even after all this time i still love you and that again is from this set from simon and on the you have my hearts i put i love you more each day which is also from this set which is right here so that is my huge stack of matching cards but they have different sentiments and different uses and i got to use up just one whole sheet of that paper that I created with the Magicals shakers from Lindy's. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry, I'm so tired. <laughs> um, I will be back soon to share some more cards and I will talk to you then. All right, you guys have a good night. Bye-bye.